I'm with JPEG Mafia, also known as Peggy, also known as... Buttermilk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my name. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm here, I'm in it. Yeah, but basically uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different from our reactions and reviews. I'm normally with my dad, and uh, this time I'm with JPEG Mafia. And we are. I'm going to be interviewing him. Woo! What's some of your musical influences, or some of the musical artists that you really look up to and like get inspiration from? For me, I usually get the most inspiration from like my peers, really. Yeah. So people like Sheck West. Oh yeah. Live Sheck West, bitch. I'm dying, Sheck West, bitch. Or Travis Scott or whatever. Yeah. And when I say peers, I just mean people like who also rap and yeah. like love the art or whatever. But like my influence, my main influences is this band, this old band, you know, yeah. Throbbing Gristles before either one of our times for real. Yeah. But um, Throbbing Gristle, Bad Brains, a lot of old punk bands. Yeah. Um, you know, old school New York shit, Nas, A Z. Yeah. Stuff like that. And then, yeah, recent shit. Those are my main influences, like, growing up, I guess. Yeah. So, speaking of musical influences, do you only, like, pull from hip-hop? Or, because I hear in a lot of your music, you pull from all over the place, like, yeah. all different genres. Oh, yeah, yeah, all over the place. Because um, everybody listens to everything. Like, yeah. you, well, you don't listen to one thing, right? Uh, no. Exactly. Everybody listens to everything. So, like, yeah, naturally... Since I listen to like just a bunch of stuff, those influences just come out. But yeah, yeah, definitely from all kind of genres. But hip hop is my like main love, you know. What's been your favorite place to go on tour? Really, just like. Man, I like I like going back to Baltimore because yeah. that's hometown. But um, what's been really all the shows have been really good. Montreal was really particularly fire because they had lights. Yeah. And it was like an EDM show. Oh, dang. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, I love it. But um, all the shows so far have been really good. I'm excited about this one in particular because selling out LA is, is like a lot. So, yeah. Recently, what's been like your, uh, it doesn't have to be one, but like what's been your, like one of your favorite albums of this year? This year? Yeah. Damn, where my phone at? My phone over there? <laughs> so what I've been really listening to is like from this year, your album actually, we listened to it, um, up Driving Up, and uh, just a lot of Death Grips, Year of the Snitch, that's probably like one of my favorite albums of the year right now. Mm. And then also a lot of like rock and roll kind of stuff, like Carsey Headrest, do you mm. know about him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah the Twin like Fantasy album. Twin Fantasy, yeah. Mm. And also, Kelly Uchis. I really liked her album. Oh, yeah, she had a really good album. Yeah, but um, from, like, older stuff, a lot of, like, Flying Lotus, uh, a lot of, like, Bjork. A lot I, of, Bjork is, like, one of my favorite artists, actually. I have a yeah. list of all my favorite albums this year. <laughs> actually, on iTunes, that's what I was looking for. Soccer Mommy. I haven't heard of that one. She's good. I've been listening to Janelle Monet. Who else I got in here? Dang, Playboy Cardi. Oh, yeah. Dialit, Tierra Whack. Oh, I love that album. Earth Eater, Kitsy Ghosts. Yeah, that's up there. That's yeah, up there. yeah. Um, look, uh, Carter Five, Sheck West. Yeah, stuff like. Uh, yeah, this year has been like really good. I really like all the albums. I like most of the uh, the albums from like the big name artists. They've dropped and like made some crazy stuff. Oh, Astro World too. I really like Astro World. Oh yeah, yeah, I really like that. Speaking of Kitsy Ghosts, Anthony Fantano. I know. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but, but <laughs> no, I'm, just playing. I, I'm pretty sure like you've had a good relationship with Anthony Fantano. Yeah. Um, and just like, how do you feel about him? What about Anthony Fantano? How how would you rate him from one to ten? <laughs> <laughs> I give him a, um. <laughs> that's a solid brother right there, yo. You know, I like him. I like the fact that when I met him the first time, he was rocking like. The most ghetto ass outfit I ever seen in my life. He was rocking like I don't even know. He looked like he was about to go pick up a forty or something. No, but like 
I don't know, man. I give Anthony Van. He's a solid dude. I give him a, 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 a strong nine with the um. What's the joint? The flannel. I give it to yeah. the, <laughs> the, the, the pea flannel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of nines, uh, I know we were just listening to Danny Brown's Atrocity Exhibition. Oh, yeah. I really like a lot of his stuff, but how do you feel about, did you hear his Twitch album? <laughs> yeah, I did. I heard the Twitch album. Um, yeah. I was actually chilling with Danny Brown yeah. uh, for like a few days at his house. We worked on some music. Um, but yeah, his Twitch album is fire. I think Danny Brown's one of the best rappers of all time. Yeah. Ever. No one I, I I don't see him mentioned a lot when that topic comes up, but yeah. to me he's like no like way up there, like top five for sure. So like I love the Trocity exhibition and I love Danny Brown and I thought I thought his Twitch album was fire. He's sitting on some yeah. heat. Hopefully like if he drops another Twitch album, something that um we did that we that he doesn't use will end up on there. Yeah. Speaking of Kind of like I heard you said that you were working uh, with Danny Brown yeah. on a couple of songs. Is there anyone that you want to bring to the studio and like make some music with that you haven't yet, or people that you have and you liked the music oh, coming oh. out? Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of people. I like to get in with Shaq West. That would be fire. Yeah. Who else? Mm -hmm. Bjork. Uh, yeah. I'd like to do something with um, with like I said, Shaq West, Playboy Cardi. I think that would be really interesting. Uh, Freddie Gibbs, I want to work with him. Who else do I want to work with? I want to work with Britney Spears too, yo. I feel like I got some heat <laughs> for Britney. I saw this yeah. one time. I, I like her song Toxic. I think that was like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toxic is... Cool stuff. I think she has some really interesting music. Like, you know what's funny? She posted a picture of a horse yeah. on Instagram, and she never explained why. <laughs> it's just there and it's still there and I just want to I just want to answer that question like in, in song because yeah. I it because she had to post it for something but she just never explained this, this is just a question from Dan on the side yeah he's on the side what are the punk bands that you're into uh, Bad Brains Fear like Black Flag no Iggy a yeah Iggy Pop Richard Hell um Sex Pistol well Sex Pistols until, um, what's that, mo I mean, that dude's name? Johnny Rotten? Yeah. He's like a Trump supporter, so I don't know, that's kind of, uh, but, um, yeah. yeah. I didn't even know that. It's yeah. unfortunate. But there, there, there's a lot. I think Fear and Bad Brains probably number one, because Fear has actually my favorite live performance ever. And it's their performance, one of my favorite live performances ever. And it's their, their performance at, um, on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. They got banned. And I just yeah. thought it was so yeah. fire because yeah, yeah, it, it was like 1982 or something. Yeah, it was a big stink. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. It was like 1982, yeah. and they were just moshing like people do like now. And it like Saturday Night Live, like Lauren Michaels or yeah. whatever was just like, no, bro, yeah. what's this? Yeah. So like, yeah, I, I I love I love like stuff like that, yeah. like those raw yeah. nasty dead Kennedys people. Like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I can't think of them off the top of my head right now, but yeah, yeah your kicks are fire. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the pants you get at the thrift store too. Oh yeah. Clean. Yeah. Clean. <laughs> clean. <laughs> Fresh. He came to the interview. Clean. All right, hit me. Hit me. Yeah. So, okay. um, what I I've heard on like some of your songs, you're talking about like some of the built up angst you have and letting it all go, which mm. I appreciate. Um, another way of expressing yourself. Um, in a artistic way. Mm. Um, so, when when you go into the studio, what moods do you really want to bring, or like uh, to the fans when they're listening to it? Like, how do you want them to feel when you're like experiencing it? I'm not sure. I don't really want them to feel anything in particular. They can feel whatever they want. Yeah. You know, it's just like I know how I feel when I make it, but I can't control how people feel. To be honest, so like. However the fans feel, it's fine. And if you like the music, you like it. You know, and if you don't, it's fine too. Whatever. But like, yeah, I I just put it out there and however you feel, you feel. And if you reciprocate that back to me, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you love so all what? of your albums. Um, like, hmm. um, either if they're on Apple Music or YouTube Music or any of the streaming yeah. services or not. <laughs> Um, is there any album in particular that you're, that is your favorite and you think you put the most effort into? 
I'm not sure that yeah that that's gonna be a hard question because like every album I make, I put as much as I can into it at that time. So it's just yeah. it's it's different. Yeah, because I can hear that in like a lot of your music. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I there's there's not one album I particularly worked on harder than any other one. I kind of just work really hard on all of them. If I had to pick a favorite, it would probably have to be better, just because uh, it's the first album where I've said this like a billion times, but I, I've showcased all sides of myself instead of just like anger or just yeah. sadness or this and that. It's just like everything all wrapped into one, and it sounds like complete garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there anything? You want to ask me or? <laughs> Would you get them kicks? Nah. Um, <laughs> hmm. When did you wait? How long did you like? What's the first type of music you started listening to? Because when I was like the first time I remember listening to music like ever, I was like maybe eight or something, and I had like a Hanson tape. I don't even know if you know that. You remember Hanson? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and three kids. Yeah. They all looked like oh, yeah. Julia Roberts or something. Oh, I was yeah. like. What? <laughs> yeah, I but it was beautiful. Yeah, yo, they they were fire though. Yeah. So I yeah, yeah I had the take. shampoo commercial. Yeah, it was crazy. They're locked. Yeah, I was just like, wow, I don't even know what's going on there. But like, when did you first start like listening? Because like, it's just interesting because at at your age, I would never have even thought. I guess I didn't have this at your age either. Yeah. But like, I would never even had the thought process to do this. Yeah, thank you. So, really, what I like started listening to from ever since I was born really was rock and roll punk. Mm. Mostly my dad loves the hardcore rock and roll punk. Right, and right, my so mom right. likes some of like the more calmer stuff. Like Nirvana, yeah, right, 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 right. All, all, mostly like grunge and stuff. And What's I your favorite like, Nirvana? He used to listen to the um, and grunge. I'm not sure, I, I would be like in between Nevermind and In Utero. Yeah, yeah, I listen to In Utero like a lot. Yeah, I like I like um what's the song on In Utero? Serve and Serve the Masters or something? Or, or, or I forgot I forgot the name of it. I haven't huh? listened to it Serve, all. Serve, serve, serve. Serve, serve, serve the servants? Oh yeah, yeah. Serve, that serve. one is fire. Yeah, in Utero is more like complex. Yeah. Never, never mind is more like straightforward, but I yeah, I, I, I like hits, really. Yeah, I like I like the the, the, the contrast, but yeah. Yeah, I think I like In Utero too. Yeah. Well, and you you said either one, but I think I like In Utero. Yeah, and then like after that, I kind of my transition over to rap was it, it wasn't there wasn't anything really in between rock and roll and punk that mm. I know of into hip hop. Originally, I started listening to some more like crazy. Well, actually, I listened to some jazz here and there, but like. Originally, I heard a lot of like Death Grips around mm. like nine ish, ten ish, mm. and then um, I that's how I kind of transitioned in. So with more of the hardcore stuff that I'm kind of used to, and then I listened into some more mainstream stuff. It kind of uh, like I kind of got into like all genres of hip hop, but most importantly, like experimental hip hop is like my all time favorite. It, 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 it's crazy that you listen to it like now, because now you know your tastes are gonna be warped. Yeah. You're not even gonna be able to listen to um, like no, you ain't gonna be li able to listen to no Tyle Cruz. Yeah. None of that. <laughs> You're just gonna be able to listen to weird stuff. But no, that's good. Yeah. That's, that's incredible, man. Yeah, but like right now, really, what I like is um, from experimental hip hop to some more pop stuff. But um. Yeah, man. Thank you for this. I appreciate yeah, this. Thank you. This is tight. Like, I'm honored to be honest. First time I saw y'all, I just thought I've been watching y'all ever since. So, like, this is, it's it's weird, yo. Like, I watch all these YouTube channels, I watch all this stuff, and to end up on it like this is just it's an honor. So, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, and thank you for coming out and um, letting me hear what your thoughts and opinions mm -hmm. and first time interviewing someone so thank you for doing this with me and thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it give it a like and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next video bye dog life <laughs> <laughs>